Hi, Pastor Rhonda here today. Um, I just have a few words to share with you. Hey, this morning I'd like to talk to you about love, joy, and peace. You know, love, joy, and peace are all fruits of the Spirit, but they're also words that we hear a lot during the Christmas season and we talk a lot about. So I wanted to share a verse with you. Romans 15, 13 says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, oftentimes in the past, I've thought about the fruits of the Spirit individually and how they apply to my life. But recently, as I've been doing a study on the fruits of the Spirit, I've uh, realized how connected they really are. Oftentimes they're interwoven together and they even um, build on one another. And so first off, I wanna talk about love. Um, you know, without experiencing the love of God and receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit through faith, it's virtually impossible to experience the fruits of the Holy Spirit and live them out in our lives. Fruits like joy and peace. The foundation is the love of God, which gives us hope and freedom. And that hope and freedom allows us to really, um, to really flourish in the fruits of the Spirit. So the next one, joy. The God of hope fills us with joy and peace. A quote I love from a, the recent study I've been doing, it's a She Reads Truth, Fruit of the Spirit study, said, the Holy Spirit of God holds grief and joy together. It allows both to exist at the same time. I love this because it's not dependent on me. It's something God can do in us. And I mean, think about that again. The Holy Spirit of God holds grief and joy together and allows both to exist at the same time. You know, oftentimes in our world, it's thought that those things can't, um, they just can't happen at the same time, grief and joy. But as believers in Jesus, God allows that in us. We can have great grief and great joy at the same time. The next one, peace. Isaiah 32, 17 says, the result of righteousness will be peace. The effect of righteousness will be quiet confidence forever. You know, our righteousness is a gift from Jesus when we trust in him. And the result of that is peace. I love the end of that verse quiet confidence forever. I just think that that's a great um, definition of peace. Peace is a quiet confidence in the goodness of God in the midst of a chaotic and broken world. Hey, I'm just praying that you can remember these things throughout this holiday season. I'm praying for you all to experience God's love, joy, and peace this season and be able to um, just live that out and pass that on to those around you. I love you and Merry Christmas.